Yo, I'm getting roasted on TikTok by hilarious comedians. Check this one out. Oh my god, I am loving this. My guy is saying... Now, it's super interesting that your profile says that you're a comedian. Because I, I literally grew up in a comedy club. And I know lots of comedians. I've never heard of you. Yeah, when you switch from a personal profile on Instagram to a business profile so that you can get access to analytics and link to your website, you have to pick what you are. Comedian just seemed to be the one that fit. After that, as I went on some really large podcasts, people started referring to me as a comedian. And I was like, yeah, I guess I am a comedian. I make funny videos on the internet. I wasn't aware that being a comedian meant that you had to go to comedy clubs. Is that, is, is that written somewhere in the law and the rules? Also, cool, you grew up in comedy clubs. Congratulations, you've never heard of me. Awesome, I've never heard of you either. Who cares? What was your last stand-up special? Mmm, must not have had one. Vicious burn. Jobs change and evolve over time with technology. Even though the traditional route for a comedian is going to a comedy club or having a comedy special that's distributed by another organization, it doesn't necessarily need to be that way today in order for you to be a comedian. 20 years ago, in order to be a person that was in the broadcasting business, if you wanted to broadcast your voice, you would have to go through traditional radio or record CDs or tapes. Now, any person with a laptop and a microphone can be a podcast host from their living room. It doesn't make them any less of a broadcaster. Voice and reach via voice is just reach via voice. If I'm producing comedy and making comedy videos and people are consuming them, it really doesn't matter how I distribute it or what it looks like. So where you work, the, the comedy store, Caroline's, any, any comedy club that anybody would know about? I've been an independent, self-employed internet entrepreneur since 2008. That was when I last had a traditional go-to-work, nine-to-five job. 14 months ago, I made an Instagram video that took off overnight. And since that point, I've accumulated over 115,000 followers on four different platforms, including over 80,000 on Instagram, 2,300 or so on YouTube, now over 10,000 on TikTok, and another 18,000 on Facebook. In that time frame, my videos have accumulated tens of millions of views, so I shifted my focus towards producing internet videos full-time. During this time, I didn't really have much interest in going into comedy clubs, so I just made videos and did what I wanted to do. There's also a social purpose behind it, which has brought a lot of joy to my life. I took a relatively non-traditional route for an age-old profession that fits nicely into the lifestyle that I want to lead, and I'm having a great time doing it. Or are you just a C-list or D-list comedian who is just out and out a liar as well, because driving five kilometers to a bar is a privilege. I don't put comedians in lists, nor do I care. I'm just doing what I want to do. And people are supporting me around the world, and it's fun. It's not a, it's not a right. <sighs> Yo, that's a really interesting perspective, but all right, I guess. Dude, just give it up. You're not funny. You're posting lies about what's happening in another country that you know nothing about. Comedy is subjective and you're entitled to your opinion, but if people like me listen to people like you, then a lot of people wouldn't have been as successful as they got. There's a lot of people along the way that try to break people down for the thing that they love doing in life. We'll see how the hands of time turn, my guy. And your eyebrows can give us jokes for days. That's hilarious. First of all, my eyebrows are exquisite and don't forget about my eyelashes. <laughs> Excuse me. Yo, that's hilarious that you would insult my physical appearance. Oftentimes, the way that people break others down is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. Oh, that was fun. Do another one.